I'm so happy to introduce you to my beautiful, beautiful girlfriend. I love you so much. I love you so much too. <laughs> Get your drink. Mm. I love you. I love you too. You have my heart, my mind, my body and soul for as long as I live. I am forever yours, my Eileen, in this life and for all eternity. I love you. Hi sweeties, welcome back to the channel. I don't know what to say. I don't really know how to start this video. But I'm sure you already know what it's about. You read the title. Me and Eileen have decided to file for a divorce. You probably already know why if you've been following us for the last few months. Um, I posted a video talking all about our marital problems, but mm -hmm. at that time there was still a little bit of hope. Yeah. But now we've decided that it would be healthier for both of us to be just friends. Yeah. And well, more than friends. We're, yeah, yeah. We're a family. family. Yeah. <laughs> And now we're able to do that, I think, after some really hard work and anguish and anger. It's a shock. I mean, it's a shocking end after such a, a dreamlike romance. But, you know, it's just what has to be done. You know, it just... Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a shock because it's been... Things have been bad for a long time. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But... When we think of how it started and yeah, that's how right. happy we used yeah. to be, it's it's shocking that you got to this point. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Well, I just think of the beginning and how much promise there was there and how much love. And, you know, people make mistakes. And I'm not saying the whole relationship was a mistake, but, you know, uh, it's just inevitable that we've come to this today. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's obviously very upsetting um, for us, and I know that some of you who have been following us from the beginning will be upset too, and um, I'm sorry for that. I never wanted to upset you. And also, I know that there are a lot of people who follow us because of the age difference, and who mm. thought we were an example that age gap relationships can work. and. Uh, I just wanted to say to those people that please don't be disillusioned because of us breaking up. We're not breaking up because of the age difference. At least in my opinion, that was never, never, ever the problem. It's something else completely separate from that, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because I know there will be people saying, oh, see, I knew. It wouldn't work with the huge age difference, and that wasn't the problem at all. Well, I, I mean, as you know, I, I kind of have a different perspective, slightly different, though I do want to say, have the courage of your conviction in your relationship, if it's age gap, if it's no gap. Just have the courage of it, and if it lasts forever, that's fantastic. And if it doesn't, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. But in terms of age gap, I feel that on my end, that... You know, you would think, many people would think that the older person would have the maturity maturity to know whether going into a relationship with somebody 37 years younger is a very smart thing to do. And I can say with, you know, the greatest regret that for me, I wasn't a healthy enough person to recognize that this person was quite a lot younger than me. And I, my lack of suitability for a long-term relationship or for any relationship really is what affected us 
you know, largely in a negative way. And had this been with a person who was my age, she might have, you know, seen sooner than I could that I wasn't a really viable candidate. Does that make sense? That's like, oh, you're being kind of hard on yourself saying that you're not a viable candidate for a relationship. You're a great person, but some of the decisions you made yeah, but were... I, I wasn't the person I should have been for you. It would have been a healthy relationship if I, I wasn't flawed. I know a lot of people... Everybody's flawed, but it's about the choices you make. You yeah. Know? And that, I think, has nothing to do with someone's age. Well, I don't think it's... I'm not blaming it on my age. What I mean is I hadn't worked through these issues before in other relationships because presumably some of this stuff has come up, and it has, you know. But I wasn't psychologically in a place to recognize that I was going to affect you negatively, you know, by the choices I made, which is what your point is. And I agree with you on that. But I, you know, I wasn't in a healthy space, you know, to to see, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's not like I consciously took advantage of no, you. No, of course not. But I think my inability to be very healthy, I think, really affected us negatively, you know, and I feel really terrible, terrible about that. And we've, we've been over this a lot and, you know, we're able to speak about it, you know, because we are family, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I feel that. And I'm not somebody that gets close to many people, but you are so in my heart, you know, just as you were from the first day. But it's it's not the romance. It's it's the family, the love, the friendship. It means everything to me. Oh, know? for sure. I mean, you mean everything to me. And I want oh. you to be happy more than anything, you know. I want you to be happy, too. And I'm always going to be here for you. You know that. Yeah, yeah and I really appreciate that. And, and you are, you know. And we have pets together, you know. <laughs> yeah, we, we still have to co-parent together. Yeah, and that's great, you know. Yeah, and I feel like we probably should have taken that step quite a while ago. Because yeah. I feel like lately... We haven't been great to one another yeah, and it, yeah. it just hasn't been healthy. But at the same time, I feel like I needed time to process and to sort of like forgive and get over what yeah. I was feeling. Because I think yeah. if we had just broken up when things first happened, yeah. we probably wouldn't talk anymore. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, this way... Well, neither of us wanted that. Yeah. Yeah. This way I feel... I, there was a time when I was really angry yes, at you. Yes, yes. Very angry. Yeah, and I, I was remember. being very yeah. unpleasant to you as well. And uh, I'm completely over that now. I Yeah. I yeah. truly, like, forgave the things that happened because I know I don't agree with the way you acted in some ways. Yeah. But at the same time, I know that your intentions were never bad. You never yeah. set out to do anything and, bad. And there was a time where you weren't sure if I was just, you know bad or you know what I mean like but I do feel the difference in you and it has made all the world of difference yeah. and yeah and now I feel like we can really move on and be family with you know and still have each other in yeah, a, yeah uh, still yeah. have each other in our lives yeah yeah and I feel it's based in health and that's what's really important to me because so much of our relationship from from my end, you know, after it after it evolved from the beautiful love that it, that it was, to include the more day to day, you know, um, you know, the day to day life that I forget my point. <laughs> this is, it, it just feels so weird to film. This. I know. I, I I feel so like numb and weird. Like I thought I would cry and yeah, stuff, but I just too. feel like yeah, yeah. Weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Okay. Um, it feels almost like like I know I failed in the relationship, and that's the problem. Oh, I have to in many ways. I mean, I can't name any. <laughs> <laughs> and I realize I fully own that it was me. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's that Taylor Swift thing? It's, it's me. me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. I'm the problem. No, I mean I. I should have walked away sooner and yeah, I yeah, should have yeah, yeah. instead of making things unhealthy and that that's on me. Like, you, do you see, I'm not trying to like blow smoke up your butt. <laughs>
you know what I mean? Like, but I, I think it's really important to really understand what happened in this relationship. And it wasn't like both partners were so wacky, you know, that they couldn't sort it out. You're a very healthy person, you know, you're a very healthy person. You have, you know, anxiety issues, which are part of life. But you are, by and large, your mother has, has helped you to be, you know, a very healthy, stable person. And I think that's fantastic. I mean, with money, you're really good. But in terms of the thematically, the main themes that destroyed our relationship, it was me and my depression and my inability to make healthy choices, like you said, you know what I mean? And had I known that, I didn't know that about myself. You know, how did I get to 60 and not know that? But I didn't. And I know some people out there will be like, yeah, sure. Um, but what can I say? You know, it is what it is. But but I do want to say, too, about an age gap relationship. I still, you know, one of the things I love about you is you're younger and all that you brought to our relationship as a younger person. And I know, conversely, that you like what I brought to some of you know, a relationship in some ways about being an older person. It wasn't a failure of that. That was a part of our joy together. But I do think that I should have known better about being with someone younger, that I had a greater responsibility to be, you know, to be on the, you know, lookout for my own shortcomings. And I failed in that, you know, and I think that's how relationships fail sometimes. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of sucks, but I think it's for the best. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. We're going to be divorced. Yeah. Maybe we haven't started procedures or anything yet because we wanted to talk to you first. Uh, I think a lot during our troubles, I think I should have talked to you sooner than I did because I think some people were upset that I didn't because they were yeah. following us from yeah, the beginning. Yeah. But at the same time, it, it's hard, isn't it? Because it's like my job to share everything because I I have this channel and that's like my job and a commitment I have with y'all but at the same time it's my personal life yeah, right, and yeah. some things are painful and then you also upset people by oversharing yeah right, like some yeah. people didn't like that I shared yeah. our problems yeah but some people thought I didn't share it soon enough so it's you can't please everybody yeah but yeah I you know I did my best yeah I think you did what was humanly possible people love love and they love to see real love and they saw our love and they love that. They oh. fell in love with that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was beautiful. Yeah, when, yeah. when it was good, it was beautiful. Oh, yeah. I, I still say this, like, when uh, we first met and uh, when we got married and that whole time, it, it was the best, best time of my life. It was really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was the happiest I've ever been, like, you know, our love and the hope yeah. for the future. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And because we had such a great love in the beginning, I think it was hard for either of us to let go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, the anger was natural, you know. Yeah, we definitely held on for way longer yeah. than... Yeah, I mean, I've gone through so many things, like fear of losing you and then knowing that... Did I, you, though? Like, oh, yeah. I feel like you didn't, like, care as much as I thought you did. But I did. I just wasn't able... Because there was so much that, you know, so many times that I, I said, like, if you do this differently, you will be better, yeah. and, uh, and you didn't. So to me, I being under the impression that, that it like, didn't really yeah. give no, a crap. No, it wasn't about, it was my capacity to love in a healthy way that wasn't there, you know? I. But like, were you even like upset when things started going south? Like, yeah, I was. I, I did, but I, what I did was an unhealthy accommodation to that, which is sent me further into myself. You know what I mean? That's what I mean about uh, dysfunctional adaptations, uh, that I was full of them. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't turn to drinking. I didn't turn to drugs. I just went deeper in myself, which pulled me away from you, which I, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes I think I'm just an organism that just will never learn. You know? No, don't say that. No, but, I, mean, I mean, I really feel that. I, I definitely feel like we, we exp at least, like, if we don't feel things differently, we express sadness in a different way. Because I feel like I've been um, 
I've had some really like dark, sad moments yeah, about yeah, everything. Yeah, like I've yeah, been so mentally, I've been through a lot because of yeah, our relationship. And you don't think that I and have the same kind of anguish. Yeah. Well, I pretty quickly understood that I shouldn't be in the relationship, I think, that I wasn't good for it. And that just, you know, I don't know. I started to feel I didn't deserve the relationship anymore, and I withdrew. But I'll, I've never loved anyone as much as I've loved you. And Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely, I've said this from the very start. That Of that, I'm sure. And, and also, the love that I feel still today like is like this has been unlike any breakup I've had you know mine haven't been all that dramatic you know what I mean <laughs> oh I don't get teary eyed oh I just get upset because sometimes I've, I wonder if you even like felt the same way as oh, I did oh I did of course I did you know I, well I say you know I did yes I did I absolutely did you know and I still feel a powerful love for you. I really, maybe I don't exp express love very well. But yeah, no, I, uh, it really upsets me, it troubles me that you that you don't know if I loved you. I mean, I gotta say, Julia, you're just the sweetest thing in the world. <laughs> you are, you're an incredibly sweet human being. Oh, so are you. Oh, I mean, you're so kind and loving and everything. It's just, yeah. I just, I just, my anxiety couldn't cope with yeah, the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, remember the guitar thing? You probably didn't even tell them when I bought like three guitars. No, didn't didn't tell them. Oh, I'm like, you know, I fully admit that I'm crazy, you know, in some... Don't, don't say you're crazy, no, but... No, but... No, but I am, and I mean, you, you know, I'm you, joking. You don't have to make better choices, though. This is just a really sad day. You know, it's, a, it's an incredibly sad day, and, you know, I will forever feel I've I've done you wrong in some really sad ways. Oh, it's okay. No, no, I'm just saying, no, it's really important. I'm not saying that for the sympathy vote, you know what I mean? So, if you're a long-time follower from since, you know, we got together or before that, please don't be upset because we're still going to be in each other's lives. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're yeah. family. Like, you're my best friend, you know, you, you are. Yeah, and again, please don't think that age gap relationships are bad because ours didn't work out. And, Jesus, that goes without saying, please don't think lesbian relationships are right. bad. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. On that video that I did talking about our problems, someone commented something like, Oh, I knew that wouldn't work out, two women together. Oh, God, oh, God, who said that? <laughs> yeah, who that, said that? That has nothing to do with it whatsoever. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, so I think that's going to be it for today. I didn't know how to begin this video, and I don't know how to end it. Yeah, yeah. It's just so numbing. Um, but we'll keep you updated. Uh, please be kind. This is a difficult time for us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and for, well, for having watched all along yeah, yeah. our journey. It was a, a beautiful journey. You know, yeah, we had ups yeah. and downs, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And yeah, yeah. I don't regret it at all. Yeah, I don't either. It was. I regret my behavior, but I don't regret it. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I always love you. I just want to say that. Oh my god, you're gonna make me cry. Oh, it's okay. I always love you too. Yeah, I just want you to know that I see you and I will always love you. Oh my god. Stop it. It's okay, don't. Right. My baby. Oh god. You're gonna make me cry. Oh, are you okay? I'm okay. Alright. Bye bye, okay. everybody. Bye. Oh, it feels like it's the end, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, they were. It's almost like when well, we're still filming, it's still like a thing. Yeah. And now that we yeah, turned off the yeah. camera, we oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh, darling, it's okay, my baby. Oh, it's alright, darling. It's okay, and it's okay to be upset. Oh, my darling. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, I'm so silly. No, you're not. You're not silly. Do you want to sue? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. He's like the end of an era, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, don't give up on love. It's no, worth it. You it's know? worth it. Even if he ends like this, it's still worth it because it was the best time yeah, ever. Yeah, really, 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 really was. It, was. it was really beautiful. Yeah, I'll always remember the extraordinary 
loves that we've had. For Aww. sure. Oh. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.